What's up guys, Nitty, Nitty Gritty Mats here and today we're learning about horizontal and vertical asymptotes and an asymptote is a line that, that approaches the curve but does not meet it. So what I'm saying here, so as you learned from my discontinuity video before this, or if you haven't checked it out, um, the discontinuity, so if we remember, it's a line where it doesn't meet the graph, so we'll use the same graph from before. If we remember, there's this line at x equals negative 8 and x equals 1. I'll give you the function once again as well. It was f of x um, of x plus 2, x, mi x minus 8, x plus 8, and x minus 1. So that's the function. And if I remember the graph goes like this. It doesn't really matter in between. So we just focus on the asymptotes today. So uh, here's the asymptote here. x equals negative 8. x equals 1. x equals 1. That does not look good guys. Um, x equals 1. So here we can see the, li the there's an asymptote here and an asymptote there and it, as this graph the black part goes towards negative infinity it will never touch this line that's why it's called an asymptote it will never reach it and as the black part here goes up towards infinity they will, they will never touch so these are vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes as I'll show you here they all use concepts of limits which is very useful for us since we know our rules as x approaches infinities and which they really help out so um, I'll show you one here I'll probably use green looks better use that and we can say there's an asymptote here horizontal asymptotes always have y equals and right there so there's an asymptote here a, a horizontal asymptote and as x approaches infinity it will never touch this line and in the four the vertical one as y approached infinity it will never touch the line as well so from the limit rule we established as x approach infinity we just compare the exponents from before so I'll show you that and because there's no horizontal asymptote as x over a over b. So we'll establish that x over a, x to the a divided by x to the b, if a is greater than b, or a is equal to b, or a is less than b, these are the three cases we can have. There's no horizontal asymptote here. No horizontal asymptote. Alright, so no horizontal asymptote. Horizontal. There is a horizontal asymptote here. It's y equals, if you remember, is going to be the coefficient of these of this. So we'll call this f and g. It's f divided by g. And here, it's just going to be the x-axis, or x equals 0. So it's going to be that straight line. Because we know that because the bottom here will be really, really big. So 1 over a really big number will get 0, and we'll have an asymptote at 0. So and as we go on to the next question, I mean, next um, vertical asymptotes, I'll show you the graph of that. And it's going to be the graph will have a function. And it just says we can draw the vertical asymptote here. We'll have that there. And this here. It really doesn't matter. There's a whole, also a horizontal asymptote, but that we're not focusing on that right now. The limit, and we'll call this line x equals a. The limit as x approaches a from the positive side is going to be of f of x. We'll call the whole thing f of x is equal to infinity. But the limit of x approaches from the negative side, so from here, of f of x, is negative infinity 
And those limits do not match up, so the limit as x approaches a does not exist. That's why we have a vertical asymptote there. But the limit does not exist because all the values there will be undefined, right here. So that's why we have that. I'll show you an example right now of a question. So we'll have a function, and you have to determine all the vertical asymptotes and the horizontal asymptotes. So I'll say f of x is equal to x squared minus so plus 3x plus 1 over 4x squared minus 9. So I'll say it again, f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by 4x squared minus 9. So if you want to pause it right now, you can pause it, or I'll just show you all the steps. So horizontal asymptotes, you find the limit as x, uh, as x approaches infinity. Over here, the limit as x approaches infinity is going to be of, of f of x. We can see the exponents here, if we're really lucky, there's a 1 here. They're both the same, both squared, so the limit here will just be 1 over 4. So there's a, there's a horizontal asymptote, and we'll just call f of x y, and we'll say y equals 1 over 4. That's the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal. Horizontal. And the, the vertical asymptote is when the denominator here is going to be equal to zero. So we'll just say, or we can use limits if you want. But to make it simpler, 4x squared minus 9, when that's equal to zero, because this whole thing when it's equal to zero, when the bottom is equal to zero, you'll get an undefined answer where the vertical asymptotes are where all the values are undefined. So we solve for x, and we're going to get square root of 3 over 2. So that's all the vertical asymptotes and when we graph it, we'll have a horizontal asymptote at 1 fourth, a vertical asymptote at plus or minus 3 over 2. So there's going to be two vertical, one horizontal. And that is the end of this asymptote video. If you did enjoy and learn, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, because I'm also dropping another video after this about curve sketching and the mean value and Rolle's theorem. And comment down below whatever what other things you need help with. But well, that's the end. Nitty gritty out.